we've got Mike with Tech Promise. Tech Promise is the name of his company. And it's a really neat little circular tie-in to everything that we've done. But he woke up during the, the night of the storm, two houses on fire, all of his neighbors are coming to him. Hey, call 911. He's like, you can't call 911. And 911 is what we're down here restoring, fixing it so the 911 center can get back online and all the connectivity. But he did something really cool for his community. He had a Starlink. We braved the storm. Uh, water was up to the doorsteps on all the houses in our community. Woke up and there was uh, two houses on fire. The neighbors were yelling, call 911. And I said, listen, there is no 911. We're on our own here. So about two days into this, people are you know, getting worried and they can't communicate. So I decided to take the Starlink and I brought it over to my community and was able to provide internet access for about 300 people in, our, in the community. We have a clubhouse with uh, air conditioning and, uh, you know, full power and I was able to bring it there and then, yeah. yep, let everyone know and they were able to come down and, and use the Starlink. Worked real good. I was real worried about it being geo geofenced to this area that we're in here now. Right. Uh, I moved it and uh, it didn't lock me out. So thank you, Elon, for that. But I really hope you can help these guys out because they're, they're working real hard to try to get communities up and, and communicating again. And with maybe just a little tweaking, which you can explain a little more about. We're excited about the Starlink as a platform that we can utilize in theater when we go in, when all the communications are down. Cellular's gone, the 911 centers yeah. are gone, so the, the first responders radios don't work. We kind of used a little tweak, a little workaround, and uh, we were able to buy a, a Starlink by saying it was for an RV because it is in an RV because we're moving it around. So we were able to purchase three of them. And so they rate limit the RV ones to about half the speed. So he's experiencing 150 meg and maybe 30 up. We're experiencing about 65 and 10 up. Starlink limits it so you can't really build point to point across the Starlink. And it would be such a great aid to what we do if anybody at Starlink happens to stumble into one of these. Yeah. If these guys could maybe use the uh, Starlinks uh, in a point to point uh, scenario, it could oh. really help them out. Well, because just like you had the other night, instead of it taking us now, we're nearly a weekend where we're having to overbuild the terrestrial base infrastructure that went down. So the fiber or the T1s that connect this power sites together. If we could temporarily set a Starlink down to get those sites back on, then the 911, the fire department, the police, all those services yeah. that we need to let these people in these communities that become an island in this internet world overnight after a storm, man, that would be fantastic. And that'd be a great thing that Elon could help us with. And it's everything. kind of like a a disaster program for Starlink where yeah, we could use for, them for 30 days just remove the, the limits uh, Elon could just do something just along simple. those lines uh, and he can man he's so innovative yeah. and so forward thinking thank you for what you're doing for your community